Now in this video I'm going to show you how to do some grafting uh, using an electric drill which is a novel method of doing it. The old timers will probably um, scoff at this method. If you're new to grafting it might be worthwhile watching the video on top of screen at the moment to get the basics of grafting and then uh, follow on by watching this video to see how to do it with an electric drill. Right, first of all I just want to discuss a little bit about the theory of grafting. Um, there are two elements to your graft. The one is the skion, which is the stick that you're grafting onto the tree, and the tree itself is called the stock. Now, if you cut a uh, skion, for instance, uh, you'll have on the outside bark, and you must have as well on that bark some buds. If you don't have buds, then it's not going to work because you won't get a flush. So you have to cut enough skion to have a few buds on it. Then the next layer after the bark on the cut surface is the phloem just under the bark. It's a mushy layer just under the bark. And then you've got a thin layer called the cambium. Now the, the whole principle of grafting, and if you forget everything else, it doesn't matter. This is the most important thing. For a graft to work, your skion cambium must be in close contact with the stock cambium over as much area as possible and all you have to do then is once you've got it there stabilize it so it can't move around because you're wanting this the cambium of the stock and the skion to unite and form a continuous physiological union so the first thing you have to do is stabilize it and then usually we'll seal it somehow either with tape or a sealing compound uh, so that it doesn't dry out because it's got to be obviously uh, moist so that the union can take place. And then in the middle here is just the hard wood. So once you've got that in your head then uh, everything else falls into place. Now if you're going to use the electric drill method the first thing you have to do is select a drill bit that's more or less the same diameter as your Sion as I've done in this case. Then we move over to the stock Right, now I'm going to drill a hole in the stock. I'll drill it at an angle, more or less the same angle as the other branches are coming out of the tree. And the trick is to stay as close to the bark as you can. See, so you're basically just going under the bark here, uh, because that's where your cambium layer is. So you want that intact. So let's just do a bit of drilling now. Try and go Try and go as slow as possible because you don't want the, the wood to heat up and start dying because then you're not going to get a physiological union. So as slow as you can. And you come out the other side like that. Come back. Then what I normally do is just rinse out with a bit of clean water. I prefer rainwater just to get rid of all the chips in there. You don't want those around. And then with the Stanley knife just tidy up the edges like that and then you prepare your scion um, just get rid of got to look for measure how long you have to clear it for and then I just scratch the bark off so we just so we just scratch the bark off I prefer to just scratch the bark off instead of cutting it off Cut a little bit if you, you've got a bud there that's in your way. Okay, then if it's not fitting, if it's too tight, then it's best to take a bit off on the inside. The outside you must keep intact because that's your cambium layer. So on the inside where the hardwood is, you can take a little bit off. And then slide it in. That's quite a nice firm fit, like that. If a bit sticks out the end here, yeah, just nip that off, like that. And then in this situation, I prefer to use a bit of tree sealer. It's much easier to seal with a bit of tree sealer in. And just dollop a bit there. And 
then a little bit around this end. There we have it. A nice firm union, sealed nicely and uh, it's pretty stable. You don't have to worry about taping it or anything like that. So we'll give that three weeks or a month and then uh, see if we can get some flushing coming out of there to show us that we've had success and then the final result will be this, this is a peach tree onto a nectarine tree. So we'll have both peaches and nectarines if we're lucky. You can always hope. Now if you found this useful please like and share this video and subscribe to this channel if you haven't already done so. And if you have any comments or questions we'd love to hear from you. Just scroll right down to the bottom and you'll find the comments section there. Thank you very much for watching.